CRI, TLCI. You may have heard these words get thrown around, but what are they? What do they really mean? What's the difference? And if I'm a filmmaker, do I really need to care or know anything about this? I mean, really, do you? Well, the answer is maybe, and in the next two minutes, I'm going to answer these questions as painlessly as possible so that you can get back to shooting movies or, on the flip side, begin using this knowledge as a launch pad to start nerding out about the science of lighting. First question first, what are they? Both CRI and TLCI are measurements that test how accurately a light source is capable of reproducing natural colors. Now, this is important because most lighting fixtures cannot reproduce a full spectrum of color. The spectrum of color that is emitted varies from fixture to fixture, and especially in newer forms of cinema lighting, such as fluorescence, halogen, or LED, light fixtures can often end up producing an unnatural color, often with a nasty green or magenta shift, or worse, unflattering skin tones. But first, let's start with the grandpa test. CRI is the older of the two measurements and is received by testing the appearance of a few predetermined colors and comparing how these colors would normally look when they were put under an ideal standard light source. Now, these points of color are specific points, but are designed to represent the entire broad spectrum of color. The difference is then quantified, averaged out as a number between zero to 100, with 100 being the highest, and the important reading to look for being the R9. Now, the R9 is the name of the red patch of color being tested by CRI and is universally seen as the measurement that best helps determine whether a light is capable of reproducing skin tones. Now, the problem with CRI though is that it tests at nine and only nine points of color space. And while this is fine for testing sources that have a very wide or broad spectrum of light with gradual dips in color, it tends to miss some very narrow color spikes or dips where your light may be missing color. But otherwise, it's still perfectly reproducing those nine points of color that CRI is testing for. Now, likewise, CRI is measured for how color is seen by the human eye, not the camera. And while cameras are designed to recreate the way that humans see color, they are not perfect at doing this. And this is important because as cinematographers, we don't just look at things and remember them. We have to shoot them on cameras. Now, TLCI, on the other hand, was designed to predict how colors are reproduced on cameras. The designers basically sampled a really wide range of cameras, came up with an average camera to test colors for, and this means that they're at least considering some of the imperfections that cameras have when trying to reproduce color like the human eye. And unlike CRI, which only samples nine colors, TLCI uses a 24 color Macbeth color checker from X-Rite, which is famous for making these things. And after checking these 24 colors, it basically does the same thing. It quantifies the difference for each color that averages it all out as a number between zero and 100. Now, ideally with 24 points of color space to check for, TLCI should be more accurate than CRI and in most cases it will be. With 15 extra color comparisons, TLCI is better equipped to catch some of those nasty spikes in your light's color spectrum. But as for similarities, it is also worth noting that TLCI, like CRI, is just an approximation and is not perfect either. Now, for the last and most important question, do you as a filmmaker need to care? The answer is maybe. Obviously, there are a lot of things more important to storytelling and cinematography than light fixtures and their rendition scores, but likewise, understanding the limitations and specifications of your tools is important. Now, in my opinion, color rendition is the most important part of a lighting fixture, even more so than output or fancy features. If your light doesn't look good, it doesn't matter how bright it is. And there's nothing worse than shooting an entire day just to find out that the lighting fixtures you rented have a harsh magenta shift on everything. Now this kind of color fidelity is extremely costly, difficult to fix in post-production, and can often warrant just reshooting everything again. So if you remember nothing else from this video, just remember to check for high CRI and TLCI measurements on all of your lights. At Aperture, all of our lights have a CRI and TLCI of above 95, shameless plug, but if you have to use other fixtures, just make sure that your lights are at the very least 90 or higher. And remember that it is always worth asking for, or at least looking up. So there you have it. There's the episode on TLCI and CRI with the Aperture A team. Make sure you leave a comment below with another concept that you want us to try tackling. Make a video about it, and we're gonna give that comment an Aperture M9. So think of something special. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell if you like these videos. I'm Ted from the A team, and we'll catch you guys next time.